The European Union is planning to boost ammunition production in Europe to replace depleted stocks by the Ukraine war. Today, the European Commission put forward legislation that would pour 500 million euros from the EU budget to increase that ammo production. Let's have a listen to Ursula von der Leyen. This act will support the ramp up and the speed up of the manufacturing of ammunition in Europe. It will combine leaner regulation with swifter permitting procedure. It's all about speed, 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 and scaling up now the production of ammunition because Ukraine needs it now. Well, let's get the latest on this. Dave Keating is our correspondent in Brussels, and he's with me right now. Dave, just what can you tell us about this proposal? Well, this proposed regulation is called ASAP, which is kind of ironically named because this has been anything but ASAP. Uh, This has been a problem that's been known about for a while. So the the initial thrust of getting equipment over to Ukraine was focused on artillery, tanks, jets, this type of thing. But now they're really noticing a problem with ammunition. Ukraine has gone through ammunition very fast, and the Western allies aren't producing ammunition fast enough to replace the ammunition uh, that Ukraine is using and are actually leaving themselves quite vulnerable at home, having low ammunition stocks. So this is something that NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has been warning about for a while. This regulation is supposed to get over that hurdle in two ways. So we heard from the EU Internal Market Commissioner Thierry Breton just now that he went out and visited the 11 EU countries that have the capacity to make ammunition. And he said the facilities are there. They just need to ramp up production. And for that, they need regulatory changes. They need things to be streamlined. And they also need money. So this proposal would give 500 million euros to European production facilities. Uh, to ramp up their ammunition production. Uh, Now, that would make up 50 percent that would be uh, tied to other money from national governments and from businesses. So actually, this totals 1 billion euros, 500 million of which would come from the EU budget. And it also contains measures to speed up production, get, get over kind of red tape hurdles, particularly for the production of these particular type of shells that are Soviet era shells that Ukraine still uses in its equipment. And obviously, those shells are not made in Western Europe normally. So these ammunition uh, places across Western Europe need to change over to the Soviet era ammunition. And this regulation is supposed to get them able to do that quite quickly. And Dave, this news today comes several weeks after reports emerged that France apparently was blocking a deal on ammunition. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, there have been two things holding this up. One is the just natural production bottlenecks, and the other is politics. There's been a dispute about where this ammunition should be sourced. So the EU is committed to give this ammunition over to Ukraine, and France says that ammunition should be produced in Europe, that the EU should not, and EU countries should not be buying ammunition from the American defense industry. They should be buying it from the European defense industry. This regulation is an attempt at a compromise. So this This money would only go to European production, as I mentioned. However, Commissioner Breton said today that the supply chain for that ammunition, let's say the powder for the shells, could come from America or anywhere else. Um, In addition, though, if they do get their supply chain exclusively from Europe, they get a 10% bonus on the funds that they are getting. So this is all part of French President Emmanuel Macron's vision of strategic autonomy, saying, look, Europe needs to be self-sufficient, and for that it needs to support its own defense industry and stop relying on the Americans and the American defense industry. But that's met huge pushback from Eastern Europe, or Eastern European EU countries, which generally trust the Americans more than their Western European allies. They see no problem with getting the ammunition from the United States, and they say, if that's faster, we should do it. Commissioner Breton pushed back on that today, saying, actually, we have the capacity here in Europe. This is not a question of speed. Either option would be good, so let's get the uh, ammunition from Europe if we can. That's what the regulation is designed to do. So we'll see if this proposal is able to get over that political hurdle that's existed over in the Council between member states and if this is an acceptable compromise to both the Eastern Europeans and to France. Dave Keating, live in Brussels. Thank you very much.